I will move on. Um, when we get to the point of if this goes through and uh, this change takes place, who will make the assessment on who is uh, a veteran with a physical or a mental injury to see that they get it? Who will set up that? What is our assessment process? Who will carry it out? And who will be the final moved on a little bit and it's, it's, it's now what we've recalled to call uh, an all military members organisation who we, we, uh, we, we have um, helped under the wing with advocacy and will do a well respected uh, uh, group that you may uh, be aware of and they are uh, working very well and what we felt um, in terms of this was that it would be uh, uh, an <coughs> ideal opportunity to allow the volunteer ex-veteran representatives within AMO to be part of that um, administrative function about, about um, being able to uh, be in a place where people who feel they're eligible want to apply for the scheme and the, for the past would go there and they would, and they would offer their administration through that um, with, with an appeal of working with the officers in terms of that. It's something that they wish to do as exporting people themselves. The, the, and I'm not putting words in their mouth, but one of the people, the team who took back here and Later, we had a couple of meetings with them, and they felt themselves that, that, that them having some ability to be part of that process would assist. But in terms of the questions of, and, and what would make it, you know, Claire's laid that out quite clearly. The only addition I'd add to that is that they're in the current uh, ownership of a survey in armed forces or military guard. They obviously have a mission anyway through that process, but to almost allow the veterans themselves to be part of that decision. And, and part of that decision in administration about who, who, who can and who can't with the framework that was provided for them by the organisation.
um, the, 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 uh, the, the actual scheme itself. It, it took place down it with, with, with our own selves. I can't want this to pretend we would be happy to, to sit there with that to, uh, to, to all members of the community. Um, and uh, Councillor Council Egan, Claire, um, and myself went down and discussed that with them. And then it, it was raised during that meeting when we talked about these that the actual volunteers themselves sort of said, well, we wouldn't mind being a part of that. One, it increases their uh, visibility in the community anyway. And it was interesting that there were two veterans we spoke before, and, and, and neither of them, I had asked a question direct, but we weren't aware that through the ammo side, so there's something about raising their visibility as a, as a group anyway. Uh, and then the second meeting was a more detailed meeting about what that might look like, and that's only just started. So there's been two meetings, the last eight weeks, and they've been the ammo and, and uh, daily ones for myself. Thank you, Mark. Russia, the Thank you. 
dialectic is challenged more than any of the others following from the different paths. Those who are in
employed in, in many of those jobs, then they will pay a different rate. So it's very difficult to give you a definitive answer because it does depend on the type of asset that the owner is. I'll try and move it slightly differently, Chairman. 2,800 passes at the moment allow them to three loads of services. What's the cost of that to the council? Again, I'm sorry, I'm trying to be difficult here, but it does depend on which pass they will be eligible for. Well, surely they're not eligible for the three. They, they, they all get three loads at the moment. Yes, you've said so, that. So, so, what be, so, if somebody, so if I wanted to buy a pass that gave me three loads, what would it cost me to do? Thank you. 
pilot scheme, and according to their press release from last January, have decided to extend the offer to local veterans who are out of work. And they did some figures, with, and they're going to have less facilities than this, so compared to different. But they had 125 military personnel in five months taking up the offer, according to them, and two out of three people using the facilities more than twice a week, so it was 11 visits. They seem to have done some work here on looking at how people are coming from the communities, use facilities, not identifying what our officers are saying, how many are coming forward and using the facilities and how regularly. If people coming forward are using facilities and taking up pool space, equipment space, equipment time, we haven't got a figure on And even if the figure of 50,000 that was mentioned by Councillor Hayes would be quantified, then we can then place that in the context of the costs and losses of our services. Well, we've got way